brothers and sisters, so everybody knows that we are living in really tough times as a result of this COVID-19 pandemic spreading across the globe infecting millions. But do you know that there is another virus that is attacking us at the same time? Well, allow me to introduce a thing actually named Digital Virus. Okay, now before you say in the comments that this is fake, let me explain what this is. Trust me, it will make sense at the end, inshallah. Let's talk about that today. What's up, ExacQ Productions here. If you guys have learned about how virus works, you know that basically, it will try to copy itself after invading a human cell, and then more and more virus will continue spreading to hunt for more human cells. Digital virus kind of works the same way. It starts off with a tweet, a WhatsApp post, a Facebook post, and so on. And then thanks to retweets, likes, and loads and loads of forwardings, these tweets and posts become more and more viral on the internet. So from one person having the news now, Thousands have now heard about that news. Brothers and sisters, last time during the SARS outbreak back in 2002 or 2003, people these days generally won't hook onto social media. Not a lot out there have social media accounts. But today, with the COVID-19 outbreak transforming into a pandemic, viral misinformation on social media is just worsening the situation. I mean, we have now come to a point where Whatever headlines we see on the internet, we just immediately believe in them. I mean, sometimes we are all just rushing to share information online without ever thinking about its authenticity. Brothers and sisters, do we all know the harmful effects that false news or stories bring? I think it's worthwhile if we take a look at a few of them real quick. One is that by sharing false claims or stories online, you are just planting more fear, panic, and anxiety to the public. Now, I don't want to share too many examples, but I want you to just imagine this. You're living in one city during a lockdown period, and somehow, somebody, could be a friend of yours, I don't know, posted a video of a stampede taking place at that same city that you live at. Although, you blindly knew that that event has taken place a few years ago and that stampede was meant to be done for fire drill. So, hearing this fake news, don't you think that this would, hands down, bring unnecessary fear and anxiety? Think about it. Another impact that fake news may bring is that people will begin to have bad perceptions on others, particularly people of different races. And people will start blaming them. And people will start to act cruel on them. In other words, people may start to develop racial thoughts. Here's the thing. We all know that COVID-19 started from a place in China, which is Wuhan. So people who have such racial thoughts, when they see somebody who is perhaps an ethnic Chinese, they may probably start to spew them with all sorts of cuss words, thinking this is a reasonable thing to be done. And of course, there are other obvious effects like getting caught by police, but that's all admit, it's wrong. It's just wrong. So if all of that said, how can we, especially as Muslims, be more careful in sharing news online? Fortunately, Allah has already given us a really, really important step in the Quran. Allah says in Surah Hujurat verse 6, Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu, Injaakum fasikum bin nabaing fatabayanu. All you who believe, if there comes to you a disobedient one with information, fatabayanu. Investigate. Ang tusibo kama mitahala, lest you harm a people out of ignorance. So let me remind you guys and myself that firstly, before we start sharing news online, please, please step back and check the facts via reliable news websites. For example, we have websites like BBC and Reuters that 
we can look into for reliable international news. Oh, and let's not forget World Health Organization as well. Number two, if possible, do not forward any news that were forwarded by our own relatives. This is because we do not know what's the original source of the news that our relatives might have taken from. Just because our uncle or auntie heard a news from, say, a friend of his or her cousin, does not mean that such news is 100% authentic. And last but not least, which I feel is the best step out of many. If we're still confused in terms of a news authenticity, are you ready to hear this? Shut up! Seriously, shut up! Stay silent! That is honestly a really effective way to stop ourselves from spreading fake news. In fact, there's even a hadith where Rasulullah says, Man kana yu'minu billahi wal yu'min akhir, fal yakul khairan aw liyasmun. If we believe in Allah and the last day, speak good things or be silent. So that way, we don't really have to worry too much because we aren't sharing anything, right? We aren't sharing anything to the public, right? So, that's why. In my opinion, this is just the best step. But if we still want to share anyway, like I said earlier, please take a while to check the authenticity of a news information. I think that's about it I can share in today's video. I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that we continue to be cautious when we share things online to the public as well as to be careful not to easily and blindly believe in whatever news shared to us inshallah ta'ala may Allah help us all if you like this video don't forget to drop a like and if you find this video beneficial feel free to share this video to your friends to your relatives or perhaps to anybody who just has this habit of spreading news online and if you're interested in content like this consider subscribing I would greatly appreciate your support. Till next time, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, stay safe, and stay positive. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.